Hey Gemini, what is going on? I hope you are doing really well. My name is Diane and this is Madam Butterfly Tarot. Um, we're going to do a reading for April, but you know, it's a timeless reading. Um, you're very welcome here, Gems. Thank you so much for being here with me. I appreciate it so much. Hopefully the reading will resonate with you and you'll enjoy it and all that good stuff. And if that is the case and you feel like liking and subscribing for me, I would appreciate that very much as well. Okay, so <clears throat> let's see who's coming towards you. I'm not going to take reversals. You see, you have the Five of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, and the Three of Cups. All right, why is the Three of Cups there? The King of Cups. Why is the Queen of Swords there? <clears throat> the Magician. Well, that's interesting. You have the King and the Queen of Pentacles there. And the Six of Pentacles. Ten of Cups. I kind of feel like there might be two people here. You know, you could be dealing with a Virgo because this is what this is the shit that came up in Virgo's reading yesterday. You could be dealing with um, someone with Virgo in their chart, but they could be Libra or Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. There could be someone in a third party relationship that you've turned your back on. And it looks like you're manifesting someone else. Or they're about to enter your life and I feel like they have money, Gemini. I know Geminis don't care about that, but I feel like they do. I'm basing that <laughs> on the fact that you have the King and the Queen of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles is someone very giving, very generous. And the King of Pentacles is someone who has money as is the queen, you know, like they're good at making money, they might own their own business, they're going to make you very happy, they're going to do anything in their power to make you very happy. I kind of feel like you're manifesting this person, I feel like you've just turned your back on someone. You know, with the king of cups, someone might have been too placid. With the king of cups, like they might have taken too long or something. I feel like you have an offer about it to come in though from this person. There's a lot, I don't know if this is, hold on. I don't know if that's all the same person or the, or one person. The, this is definitely two, two people. I feel like you're manifesting this King of Pentacles. So they could be an earth sign or they could just, you know, have money. Cause I feel like you would be a great Queen of Pentacles here. Like this is someone, <laughs> they want to spoil you. There's a King of Wands watching <laughs> as well. Who are all these freaking people in your reading, Gems? This is the same shit that happened with Virgo. There was like so many people in the reading. Clarify the Five of Wands. I literally feel like you have people fighting over you. You see this? Like I don't, I don't bullshit in readings, but I feel, I feel like you have fuckers fighting over you, Gemini. Um, okay. I mean, I'm, I'm just a tarot reader. You know, I try not to give advice because I feel like when I watch pick a cards and stuff, like bitches try and start giving you advice and you're like, just read the fucking cards. Like, did I ask you for your opinion? I don't think so. But this one in the middle here looks like a viable option because this person here, this King of Cups with the Three of Cups, they could be in a third party and they're, the King of Cups can be kind of repressed and placid. And I feel like that might be why you've turned your back on them. And I feel like this King of Wands, it could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, <clears throat> who's, who, they might be an ex. Because see how they're out in the cold here? <laughs> like, 
Like they're all the way over here, like they're not even in the reading, they're just kind of looking. So this could be someone from your past, but I feel like this King of Pentacles is like the new person. There's some kind of new beginning coming in for you. Clarify the Five of Wands. Temperance. Oh no, this is not really. It, it, there's a, they're, they're acknowledging that you've been very patient. And th there's a new beginning coming in. Now, clarify the Five of Wands. I don't really think I need to clarify that, honestly. You have the Five of Wands with the Nine of Pentacles. People are fighting over you because you have high worth. Like you've, you know, you found your um, sense of self-worth and ironically it's bringing people in. <laughs> you know, it's like when you get to that point when you, you're like, ah, I don't really give a fuck. Like that's when people start <laughs> fighting for you. And you, the, you know, the Nine of Pentacles, you might have been doing very well financially recently, but the Nine of Pentacles is someone that knows their worth. You know, it's someone that's like, They've been through the ringer and they, they're, they're now like, you know what, no, like I'm waiting for the person that I deserve. Um, who's this King of Pentacles? Because I'm kind of assuming here that you know who these other people are, right? So I'm not going to like pull cards on them. This new person could have Capricorn in their chart. There's something about money with this person, like this person's rich. They're rich, okay? And they're gonna try and spoil you. <laughs> so, all right, tell me about this King of Pentacles. You know, the Capricorns, like, they're very hard workers as well. This is someone who's very financially stable. Could be Pisces energy as well. Um, kind of. I'm just going to go into this deck here. Who is this King of Pentacles? Do you know what, Gemini? This is a nice reading because I think for a long time it's been all your readings have been very focused on like two people, you know, like a past energy and this person in the third party. And now I feel like there's a new contender, and I actually feel like it's the one a lot of you might go for, or there's certainly someone that you're going to consider. Who is this King of Pentacles? Delight. I feel like it's someone very uncomplicated. Bold. Who is this King of Pentacles? Mary. They might be a Sagittarius or have that in their chart, a bit of an explorer. You have faithful, peaceful, a lot. I'm just going to take one more. In fact, <laughs> in my typical Gemini energy, I got bored halfway through what I was doing. Um, okay, let's get some of these cards. Um, okay, King of Pentacles. This person wants marriage and children, okay? Whoever they are. Tell me about this King of Pentacles. This could be the one. They put you on a pedestal. So this person is going to really like spoil you. Saving up money. This person is going to spoil you. They have money and they want to give it to someone. You are so hot. about this king of pentacles wedding bells okay this person wants to marry you 
don't really know which one that one. This is going to happen fast. I do feel like they're going to come in a little out of nowhere. Shit. <laughs> um, who's this King of Pentacles? I love you. This person's not going to fuck around. I'm um, sorry that I'm swearing, but that's just the mood that I'm in. <laughs> um, cussing like a sailor. Yeah, this person's not going to screw around though. Like, they're just going to come in and be like, look, uh, I really like you. Like, let's, let's do this. Who is this person? Okay, let's, um, I'm not doing any more of those. Right, let's do this one. Tell me about this King of Pentacles. Yeah, they're going to spoil you. Look, gift. I always think it's funny when people mention like in tarot readings, like this person's going to come in and give you a gift. It's like, I mean like in Pretty Women? <laughs> um, I don't think they're going to try and like, you know, it's not going to be like a decent proposal or something, but I think they're going to try and spoil you. You know, they have a lot of money. That's what keeps coming through. They're looking for their partner. They're looking for the one. Like, I, I kind of feel this is someone that's been like, working, 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 working. I also feel like it might be someone that's worked themselves out of like, you have poverty here. I don't think they were born into money. You know, this is someone that's like, worked for what they have. They've worked very hard for what they have. I feel like it's like an entrepreneur kind of energy. And they want to spoil you like they've, they've spent their life like working and now they want to like get married and have children and spoil some spoil someone tell me about this king of pentacles yeah this look at that do you see that that says great fortune this person's loaded <laughs> high honor so they might have some kind of yeah look you have honor and you have community they might have some kind of high honor within the community which can obviously mean a bunch of different things um Uh, the, the silence there was when I was going to say pol political things and didn't do it because <laughs> that's not why you're here. Um, but they could, I don't know, I don't know what that means, like just um, some kind of high status, like the, I mean high status, like in terms of finance or presence within whatever job it is they do, if you see what I mean. You know, they would be well known within that community. Like just say for example, like it was a YouTuber, they might be very well known within that particular... Say for example, it was someone in like the spiritual community, right? They would be well known within the spiritual community maybe, like online, right? But other than that, you might not have heard of them, right? It Like whatever it is they do, they might be very well known in it. But if you didn't, if you weren't involved in that, like you wouldn't know who they were, right? Maybe. Tell me about this King of Pentacles. Main male. This is impressive. This this person is impressive. And obviously, if you're dealing with a chick, you can just go ahead and replace that with main female, right? But like, I think they're pretty well dressed, like well turned out. They're good looking. Mature man. They could be older than you. Okay, who's this? coming in towards Gemini. Who's this King of Pentacles? Creative. So they might do something creative for a living that's made them a lot of money. Animal lover. Oh, I don't know what that was. I'm just going to reshuffle. Who is this King of Pentacles? Oh, they could have cancer in their chart. There you go. Tough. Yeah, I think this is someone that's kind of worked their way up. You know, they might be from like a tough background, like a, I don't know. I don't know, like a working class background or something. Tell me about this King of Pentacles. Long term planner. Cute. Okay, tell me 
about this um, King of Pentacles, Rational. Yeah, they're a hard worker. They're a very hard worker. They might be like a little bit of a workaholic, to be honest. Tell me about this King of Pentacles. I'm just gonna reshuffle because there's too many. Tell me about this King of Pentacles. Tell me about this King of Pentacles. Bunch of them keep flipping over. Tell me about this King of Pentacles. Could be a Pisces. Water sign, which would be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. They might have quite a lot of water in their chart. Because you have Cancer and Pisces. Um, which, you know, that might be why they're so creative. Tell me about this King of Pentacles. Sagittarius. Tell me about this King of Pentacles. There's some kind of leader, this person. Like, I would say it's something to do with their job. There's some kind of leader. Who is this King of Pentacles coming towards Gemini? Frank. Athletic build. Who is this King of Pentacles? Tattoos. I don't know which one that was. Let me just reshuffle. Who is this King of Pentacles coming towards Gemini? Saucy. Introvert. Humble. Honest. Caring. Let's get three more. I'm not seeing anything about what they look like. Um, tell me about this um, King of Pentacles. You have Earth sign and you have Responsible. I they're very responsible energy, like very hard working. Earth sign would be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So they might have an earth water crossover. And one more. One more. Oh, they might have a little Gemini in their chart. So, I mean, that would mean you probably really get on with them, right? Because I always get on with other Geminis. Um, we all start talking over each other, but we, we we get it, right? It's like other people just don't understand. Like we're not being rude, we're just excited. <laughs> and I'm still listening to what you're saying. I'm just also talking and thinking of the next conversation. So that is your message, Gemini. I hope uh, this was a useful reading for you. Looks like you have someone new coming in. Um, I'm gonna pull some random, I don't know why. Yeah, Page of Swords. This person might come a little out of the blue, like almost completely out of the blue. Like very, very suddenly into your life. Because I feel like you've been patiently, patiently waiting for this new beginning to come in. I kind of feel though... <laughs> That there's like a slew of people you're just kind of leaving in your wake. Tell me about this um, King of Pentacles. Yeah, they're going to come in really fast. The Knight of Swords and the Page of Swords, they're going to come in really, really fast and out of the blue. You have the Emperor here. Daddy energy. Mummy energy. Very stable, someone that's very faithful, very loyal, um, usually very successful. They're a planner, okay? And I'm kind of feeling like they kind of see you as this Queen of Cups energy. Like you're very sweet. 
you're very soft, very kind, very compassionate, and there's an energy of kind of wanting to protect you. I feel like it, it might come in very suddenly, this offer. The Six of Wands here. There's a reason it hasn't come in before, and it's been some kind of block or something. Justice. You might not have seen them. I don't know what that means. Look, there they are. King of Pentacles. Do you see how she's got one eye covered? It's like you might not have seen them because you were, I don't know, maybe you were waiting on someone else. I feel like you were kind of stuck. I'm not blaming you. Okay, I'm just saying this is what's coming out in the cards. You can turn this off now if you don't want to hear this, but... And I don't think you have to do anything to bring this person in. I think you've already done it or you will be doing it naturally. Yeah, look at that shit. Here they come. <clears throat> Earth and water, I think this person has in their chart coming in, coming rushing in. You have three knights there. Yeah, that's funny. They have some kind of mixture. I don't really see any fire. I see earth and I see water and I see a little bit of air. I don't really see fire. Maybe you're sick of fire with this king of wands that used to be here, but I feel like you were kind of stuck. Maybe it's something about like you just didn't see this person before. And that was the block. Because there's been something about with the Seven of Swords, like moving away from car Maybe you were dealing with karmic relationships before or something. I do kind of also feel, see with the Hermit and the, the Lovers, like you may have been in Hermit mode. Learning lessons and now that you're coming out of that, this person's coming in, okay? Yeah, see the Eight of Cups here? I feel like you're just done. <laughs> Just, you're just like, you know what, you know what, I'm going, goodbye, I'm going to go and like have a decent life with someone else and then there they, there they go. It's all been about your self-worth, Gemini. This, this King of Cups is in reverse as well. I kind of feel like maybe you were waiting for a King of Cups to get, like some of you might have been waiting for a King of Cups to get out of a third party. But see with the Nine of Pentacles, it's like you've kind of found your worth and you're like, yeah, fuck that. <laughs> you've had some kind of tower, I think. And that's when this new beginning comes in, okay? Only take this if it resonates. So like if this is not, if that's not resonating with you, then it's probably not your reading, okay? So that's your message, Gemini. I hope you find it useful. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for me if you feel like doing that. I'd appreciate it a lot. And as always, I wish you many, many blessings. Love and light. Take care.